Happy birthday to you. Oh man. Happy birthday to you. Oh man. And they got the chocolate cake. Dear Brandon. Happy birthday to you. And I'm going to say it out loud because I don't believe in all oh, of that. that was my so. question because it was time for me to ask you a question. And be all right, go ahead. Moving forward for your birthday this year, what, what do you wish? I wish that everybody on our squad wins and wins at a major, on a major level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why you mean blow? Because I ain't, because, bro, this is the new thing, bro. We from the hood. Like, back, back then, we used to, and then you blowing all your, your COVID-19 on it. Hey, why you think we didn't get sick back then? <laughs> Ultra Bird Science. Callous. Callous. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know, despite the skills. Fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta like the we get wheels straight up. But in the past bag, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah, and my family needed bread. I had to come correct. That's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. <laughs> Terrible. Nah, he's good. He, he can hit the <laughs> ball a mile. But he sat out the first half. He played the first quarter for three minutes. And then he sat out for to hole number eight. Bro, I think I played the first two holes. My back went out. <laughs> and he set it down. What I, I say, though, when my back went out? It's right. I see y'all nah, on the back. No, nah, no, what I say about Ocho. I forget, I bro. Like, don't tell Ocho I, my back. <laughs> oh, yeah, about you Ocho. did say that. <laughs> Ocho versus Science. Yeah. You did bro, say I'm that. in the middle of the green. I'm in the middle, you no, know, the fairway, like stretching my back out, yeah. When it gone. B, and you want to box and play football still. Yeah. It's Your ass can't go. Too golf. much torque. Too much torque. Yeah. Too much torque. What about these big motherfuckers yeah. grabbing you on the field? But hold on. Let me go here. Let me go here, though. So <clears throat> I want to do check ins again. We haven't checked in. Um, on each other for a couple shows now. And, and I think that's imperative for us to continue to do that. Cause when I was out there, I mean, I'm laying in the bed Sunday, bro hit me, Fred hit me like, yo, you, what you doing at 1.30? I got a tea time. It's me, Pep, Rennie, you know, we got a four. You want to come out? I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, let's go. And I realized that I, that's, I was missing that. Like I, I've been working, 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 working like all through football <clears throat> now in business. So for me to have that time, I'm out there, and it felt so good, you know. But I ain't gonna give my check-ins now. I need y'all. I'm gonna start with you, Ocho, because you've been off the show for about a month. You've been really on a sabbatical. You see, he's dramatic. He's at a no, month, bro. Uh, he ain't been on the show, bro. He been traveling the world. So we let's check in. The world? Mental fitness level one to ten. Okay, one, you ain't good. We need you need some help. We need to put you in the hospital. And I ain't joking. Ten, being. You phenomenal. So mental fitness level, where you at business, and where you at personally. Okay, hit those three. Mental fitness, I'm on the 10. Okay. Uh, business. Can, can, can we get like a little little oomph behind it? Like why? I mean, just it just is. Yeah. Just, How much you bench press? Right now, about yeah. 325. Because I be seeing your arms, dog. You don't look like no receiver, man. What, why you do that? Because I don't lift that heavy. You don't? And I used to lift heavier than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm about 325 right now. Just. Just stand. We supposed to take it serious, though. This is. This I'm thing. serious. I be saying he got guns, though. I be like, I want to make sure we good. Like yeah, this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, it's hard to reach for an answer on why I'm good, but I'm, I'm just good. Is there a way that I don't have a way to actually put it in the words? Like, nigga, I'm good. Like, you think a few shows. It's the mindset. You're good. I'm just. I'm, I'm good. There's no, nothing going on business-wise. Everything is smooth. Uh, other than you making money. Yeah. You my, good? Hey, you, no, need you, know, a, you need anything? Listen, you need a loan or anything? This is the good thing. My money's making money. Ooh. And I'm, and I'm not, I, and I'm not, and I'm not, what? Oh, give what me some. What you mean? Oh, Your money's bad. making my money. Bad. You know my, my back bad. hurts. I can't my really bad. reach over with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my money's making money. So that, that's, that's a good thing. Obviously, you know, the scamming is, is another part of it that on top of that. <laughs> um, personally, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I, I went and seen Mama. I went and seen Hurricane Paula put a put flower at the grave. Sat there for about 30, 30, 45 minutes. I put a little drink at a little site, you know, a little ruby red and tangeray. Sat there for about, <laughs> about 30, 35 minutes, man, talking to myself or talking to her. Yeah. And, you know, that was laugh. No, no tears, no tears. So 
I'm, I'm on 10 across the board. That's a, that's a good thing. Do, do you think that, yo, you went to Jamaica, everybody knew it. That's why you missed the last show with D-Way. Right, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. He talked about a month. He talked about a month. I missed a week. You know he, oh, he going to go overboard. But do you think do you think I'm that messy. that centered you? You going out just dudes with just taking a vacation with your lady, taking a vacation with your fiance. I think I needed that. I think I needed that. It was good because, and when you want to get stuff done the right way, you know, when it comes to traveling, like you, you put it in a woman's hands. Cause I, she said we going to Jamaica. I said okay, cool. I'm gonna look at hotels. So I'm looking for the cheapest. <laughs> like I saw some rooms. They had they had, you know, I had a little coupon and stuff. Man, rooms hundred thirty dollars. He said, let me handle it. She let me handle it. I, I said, are you sure? Because I got this. Man, listen. Man, we got to Jamaica. We was at Sandals Resort. Sandals Resort. And, bro, we, we got there. We go to check in. And I'm waiting on the man to take us to the hotel. I mean, to the room right there at the resort. And they take the bags and say, no, we can't, you can't take the bags with you because you got to get over there by water. I didn't understand what he meant. I said, what do you mean by water, sir? And he walked us out there to the dock. And we just standing on the dock. And I look out yonder about four, five hundred yards, about four football fields. I see the little bungalows. Yeah. Man, listen, man. Bro, I thought y'all was in, uh, boy, where is it? I said, yeah, yeah. You say, what's that, what's that again? You heard me. Boy, yeah, boy, yeah. mammals, yeah, where is all that? that. Bora Bora, yeah. uh, what's the other one? Maltese yeah. and all of that? Yeah. Maldives. I'm going to yeah. the big stuff. Go, take me to Rome. Take me to the French Riviera. You want to go to Boya Boya. Right, yeah, I was about to say it, Boya Boya, <laughs> Boya Boya. <laughs> We, yeah. we spoke, we chopped it up about that. You see him, the video of him swimming underneath? The room, underneath my room. She recorded me from inside the room. It got, it got the glass, you know, you could look down and see anything up under you. So that was nice, because I don't travel. My traveling is done strictly for soccer purposes only. That's Rome, it. Italy, Paris, Spain, soccer only. I'm not in the sightseeing. And so I was really reluctant to go to Jamaica because I'm like, mama, we live in Miami. We surrounded by water. We got palm trees. The food. Which is interesting Listen, you... the food was phenomenal, bro. Yeah. We went to the local spots. None of that touristy shit. We went to the local spots, and I did all the touristy stuff as far as, you know, Dunn's River. Right. You know, some of that right. stuff like that. Man, that place is phenomenal. And people, when you see this and you watch this, you don't have to go to Bora Bora. You don't have to go to Tahiti or Philippines or whatever you want. Whatever, all that's, man, you can stay right here, man. Jamaica, they got talk, all that. Talk, talk about your Michael Phelps moment. Oh, listen, I, I, I can swim. I can swim. A lot of people don't know I can swim because I don't like to get my hair wet. Right. Huh? So, <laughs> listen to me. I ain't have a haircut. But listen, so I did. You, I did, you I, still got, like, if you wanted to grow it out, you. No. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, 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 yeah. Chad, if you let your hair grow, yes, I have the a, full, I have a full set of hair. Chad. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. You're well, going to have the, the have windows up full, top down. I let me, I'm going to let my hair grow for the next show. You're going to let your hair grow? Yeah. Cool. And you gonna have a fade? I get a full, yeah, I can grow the fade. I had, nigga, I had waves in high school. What you talking about, boy? Waves? Waves. I ain't, I ain't. So you good? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I tell you, and I ain't finished though. Go ahead. Y'all don't have to travel. Y'all don't have to travel to the Philippines or Bora Bora. You can get the same effect right here locally, man, right down the street. That shit was nice, bro. And man, y'all done been everywhere. And I'm like, my eyes open like I ain't never been out, been out the country. We can get your night. discount? Huh? Cause I know you gotta have an Ocho 85 discount. Yeah, I do. You, I'm uh, ask for Adam. Adam? Adam? Adam, ask for Adam. He, he runs the resort. Everybody watching, hitting up the hotel, asking for Adam. Sandals, right? And 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 what part? Montego? What? Where'd you go? I was in Montego Bay. We need to holler Adam, Adam Stewart. Bro. Adam, you know Adam Stewart. <laughs> let me get the first and last name so when I go again, <laughs> let me get the plug out there. Sandals Resort. Ask for Adam Stewart. That's big. And. and Hey, when you when you go on a vacation like that, with I got you know I, we got we all got kids, but do you you gotta you gotta tend to the wife every night? Like if you on a bungalow, man, you gotta. Well, you, you ain't got no choice, cause once you open that bungalow, it's just you and your butler. Dog, you my butler Hugh, bro. You ain't see the video with my butler, my butler singing. I seen it. Man, the hospitality over there was unmatched. Yes. Unmatched. I mean, you you just know you're not in Miami no more. Right. You, you, man, it, it was great. It was great. My butler, man, he sang. He sang to us. Man, it, was, it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Yeah, because we just went to Minnesota and we on vacation with the family. And the first night, you know, I, I taught Asia a lesson. Right. Second night, I taught Asia a lesson. Man. Third night. Hold on, what do you mean? What, 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 do you mean? Yeah. what does that mean, lesson? I, I, I gave her the, the, the wiggle worm. Here, Kitty okay. Kitty? I, yeah, I had to give her the wiggle worm. I had to just put over it. You turn them up on the Come couch. On, stop, you stand stop, behind stop, the stop, couch. Stop. You said it's found. Oh, you got to turn them up. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> where they booties on the back of the couch like this, and you yeah. in the back, and they back, they whole bodies curled up like that. Yeah, I know, I know you talking about. But by like the third or fourth, fifth night, I'm like, man, I can't do this no you more. You can't do this. the wiggle worm no more. I can't wiggle worm you. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we went skiing. It's a little, it's a little different. It's a little different for me. So you know, <laughs> in that area, since we on that topic, mm -hmm. you know, you interact. We get there on, let's say, we get there on a, um, a Friday. Yeah. So you give her the blessing on that Friday night. Oh, then you call she it? needs two or three days to recover. You understand what I mean? Oh, yeah. you do it like that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. If you look at my ancestry tree, you know, I'm part of the Mandingo tribe. Ancestry.com. Oh. Yeah, you go oh, in there. Okay, you go in there. I, do your homework. You understand what I mean? It's, but, it's the you reason feel? you got on black and he got on pink. Right. You yeah. feel me? You. I'm laying the pink swiper. And he's laying the black swipe? No, 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 no. He talking about Mandingo. You talking about easing in there. <laughs> Fred, I got a short, a shorter stroke. But I get it. But done. you light skin. That's the thing, too. That's the thing that get me. You, you light skin. My ancestry tree got some European in it. <laughs> this, this, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, no. You know, I just wanna comment. I, I just wanna, I just wanna um, I just wanna say, Chan. You look good in pink, bro. You do. I think that might be his color. I, it's springtime, right? It's pink ain't a spring color, though. Pink is a summer color, right? No, Easter. East, yeah, I was, I was thinking. Right, you're right. I mean, you know what, in the pink, the pink, listen, the pink on the hat and the, the, the pink on the shirt, it bounces well off your complexion. And you got a tan. You think I don't see it. You got a tan, too. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the Fred answer. Chad. <laughs> what? I'm just saying it bounces yeah, well off my you. complexion. Look at the, the light. And, okay, don't worry about it. No, nah, but seriously though, yeah. this this right here, this this outfit, I don't know how far we got to go back. Search the archives. <laughs> this is definitely top three. <laughs> I ain't bullshitting, bro. It ain't no fusions. I love it. That's me. And, and That's the me. funny thing, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about reading the comments. But I let everybody know. They be in the comments talking about. Crowder need to fire his barber. <laughs> is that funny? That's funny? Yeah, because I feel well, like... You bastard? Hell yeah, yeah, you. yeah. You see, he talking about... Nah, you're you chin strap gangster. You Ain't nobody stuff. gonna try you. No, I do all this myself. They said stylist. They said Crowder need to fire his stylist. I said, what the fuck is a stylist? <laughs> Man, shirt match the hat, match the shoes. I'm good, I'm gonna hit the streets. And now people wanna criticize me because Brandon wear that weirdo sh You be <laughs> clean, cute. Cute, clean, weird, clean. I always wear HBCU stuff. I know, but you be, you be on the edge of like clean, cheap, clean. And are you the closest one I can, I can mess I'm with, Chad? You the closest clean. one I can mess with. I'm a cheap, clean. And then Fred B, I don't know what Fred B. I just do shit, whatever it is. Stop, man, you All right, so stop. you good. Can I get a check-in? Can I get a check-in? Mental fitness, personally, so personal, and business. Personal, I'm good. Family good. Wife good. Kids one good. One to 10, bro. You ain't even get a one to 10. One to 10. I always say, when I'm good, I ain't never gonna say perfect. 10 is perfect. Only person perfect is God and Jesus. Like, there's no perfect people. So I give you a nine on every level. I'm good right now. Business-wise, good. Media, good. Money, good. The market right now, stupid. Man. Making money, if you yeah, if you in it, you know, like I said, Fred is my, Fred is my market advisor. Jeez, calm down so the market that. good right now. But yeah, everything doing good, man, mentally. Like I say, you know, I, he be day trading too, so he be in it one minute. He, he might be up at M, <laughs> next minute he might be down at M. You gotta watch him. <laughs> but everything good. Everything, everything good. good. All right, bet. That's crazy, man. Nah, I'm uh, I'm checking in, bro. I'm, mentally, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, I, don't, I can't put a number on him. Why I'm you just, can't put a number on him? Because I'm good. Seven. seven. I said seven last time. I'm seven again, right? Why you? Why you think you're not out of ten? Or I mean, I can't let's, let's, let's say, say we can't be out of ten because I do agree with you there. Only one perfect man ever walked, you know, this planet. All right. So why you can't be out of nine? I can't be a nine. Why? It's a struggle, bro. I mean, realistically, I, I do a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I I I fight my fight. I fight other people's fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got family, you know, to take care of. Um, not, and that's not even intermediate. You talking about you? you so yeah, you, that's every. That's yeah, that's everything. Like I still look out for a lot of people, not monetarily all the time, because I try to put them in a position to learn, right? But um, 
just making sure they're good, and that stresses me. So I try to minimize my stress, but I can't get over it. So I, but I feel like I'm big enough to handle it. And if I'm not, I got certain people that I need to, you know what I'm saying, tap into and, and talk to to try to get me back to where I need to be. But you know, I know that. that. I know that. You know that. I know that. So, so for that, I'm a seven. And I said that last time. It changed on, on, on business. Now I look at my investments. I look at cash flows. I look at, you know, my hiccups. You know what I'm saying? The market, for me, like you said, it's been up and down. One day I, shit, one day I made, on my birthday, I made 350000 Then I turn around, shit, three weeks after my birthday, I lost 350000 But it's, it's, the balance is there. So it goes back to me balancing things, doing things in moderation, right? Um, but what I want to say just quickly is what Channing said. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Neither of us is perfect. Just looking at some of the comments from the Wade segment, they expect him to be perfect, right? As a as a player, as a parent, that'll never happen. D Wade, and I know the last episode. D Wade, the last episode. And for I know those we'll, who ain't catch it, catch we'll, it. We'll talk about that. But what what touched me the most in that, and this is just me coming creeping. I see on one on one hand, they're saying, "Oh, D Wade, you know you you're wrong for this, you're wrong for that. You can't you can't really critique." anyone's way of parenting. It depends on what you feel as a parent that you need to get the most out of your kid. And on the other side of that is, because none of us are perfect, the Bible says, because they said, oh, Jesus wouldn't want this, Jesus wouldn't want that. But Jesus, first, first thing they said, don't be judgmental, yeah. right? So you can't judge him. He's not perfect, I'm not perfect. Don't judge me, I'm not gonna, I'm going to judge your fusions, but it's all in love, right? Why you hate on my fusions, friend? Because, bro, everybody else. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you some ones, and we're going to be good. I appreciate it. But still, I just want to bring it back to, I think just society as a whole, we got to do better. We got to support each other. We got to look out for each other's feelings. You're checking in on me. I'm checking in on Chad. You know what I'm saying? Channing, and I support you guys. And we just got to do more of that. Right. I think that's what society needs today because it, uh, social media is going to give us a lot of facades and a lot of bullshit. Right. That ain't real. We got to really call people and really tap in and say, how you doing, bro? For real, for real. For real, for real. Personally, I'm about a seven and a, seven, seven and a half, eight. I ain't perfect. I'm good, though. I'm solid. Right? Business. I'm business. I'm right there. Hey, it ain't perfect. I want to do more, but it ain't. I, I'm right where I want to be, and everything else, I'm solid. I can handle that. Right. Right. Hey, when we talk about mental mental health, mental fitness, and you, you think about, you go back um, when we were younger, and and being right now in today's society, today's era, today's world in general, we pacify everything. Mm -hmm. We uh we coddle everybody. So at what point do we try to be mentally tough instead of everybody being mentally weak and being butthurt over every little thing? That's something we have never talked about because we are always wanting to make sure everybody is good. But at what point do we, we, we if, are we going to end up always having to uh, walk on eggshells? But what does that mean, mentally tough, though? Like, cause Not I, being mentally weak. Is, is there... Is there but I, but what does that mean? The reason why I ask, because y'all know I spent three months in an outpatient program at McLean Hospital 2011. You know, you were right there with me, you know what I'm saying, when we were teammates. So when I entered that program, and literally Monday through Friday, I was there from nine to five. And, and so before I went there, and you asked me what mental toughness is, it, it was to mask pain. Mm. You know, that, so, was, that would have been my answer, because especially as a football player, you know, they teach us to mask pain. Like, you can't come in the locker room and say, my ankle hurt. Right. You can't come in the locker room and say, I got some shit going on at home, you know what I mean? Right. And, and I, I need a moment. You can't do that. You got to go. Yeah. Right? So, like, what does that mean when you say mental toughness? I mean, just being mentally tough in general because we're all going to have problems. We're all going to have issues. Everybody's going to have something. Something can go wrong with you every single day. So, are you going to be down in the dumps every single day at what point do you like stand up and like be mentally tough just I'm, I'm just asking I as 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 um 
as I don't know the, the proper words or the way to word it the right way. Obviously, I'm not a psychiatrist or therapist or psychologist for that matter, but I'm just thinking about at what point do we tell them off? When you have systems Listen, think place. about this. We all, we, we all have kids, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you pacify and you, you coddle your kids to protect them. But once they get out into the real world, the real world that doesn't give a f about you, that's going to give you the real deal. Yeah. It will happen when you're not there to pacify and coddle or it's going to be OK. Systems. Then what happens? Systems. That's why I asked, like, OK, 10, I, you know, he said you were at a 7. When, I, when you told me, you know, you're not at a 9, what I was trying to get at was, well, well what systems do you have in place? You know what I mean? Like, right. what are you doing? Right. And, and I think that's the answer is, you know, being able to sit back and say, well, you know life going to throw some stuff at you, and it could be by the day. So what systems do you have in place? What you just said is you had a, you had a network. Like, when I know I ain't good, I know who to tap in with. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is the answer. Like, a lot of times we don't have, when you talk about this mental fitness check-in, we don't have any processes in place. We don't know if, if talk therapy works for us or if we have the right therapist there. We don't know if meditation, yoga, um, mindfulness, noting, like there's so many different things that we can do. We don't have processes in place. And, and to me, that's the answer. But why not? Why not? Why don't we Because have we don't talk about it. Is it, is it. is it more so that from a male perspective and a female's perspective, are we prideful? Oh, yeah, 100%. Because as, as, as people would say, that comes before the fall, right? Yeah. We have to be able to look in, look in a mirror and tell ourselves it's okay, right? And, and I think, you know, people look at this show, like we're, we're not trying to preach. You know, we're trying to help as many people as we can through our, our own experiences. You know, we don't know it all. Some things I get tied up in, like, man, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on, but if I've, if I've dealt with it before, I'm going to tell you how I dealt with it. I'm going to give you my experience, and I'm going to say, all right, try this, or, or look at it this way, or look at it that way, right? So what, what you were saying is, I have people that I can reach out to. When shit gets bad for me, I know who to reach out to. I know how to come back to square one, because I don't have all the answers. And even now... For me to say I'm a seven or a nine, you know, or an eight, that's usually where I am. When shit gets bad for me, I know who to tap into, and they'll bring me back to square one. And I look at y'all, man. I look at y'all. It's a brotherhood. I know I can trust you. I know I can trust you, and I can trust you, and I can lean on y'all. And you're going to give me the hard answers. Not everybody's going to give you the hard answers. Some people are bullshit and sugarcoat things. I won't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna say B. Nah, you, 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 bro. I ain't never seen you like this. Mm -hmm. We need to tap into something else. Right. And I think a, as a whole, if we can all do that, or we can convince others to do that, we'll be better right. as a whole, as a society. And, and from the sugarcoating thing is that when you're successful, like we are, people know us. You know, saying got bread in the bank. People, people go to sugarcoating it because they don't want to upset you. And that's what I like about having real friends, real dudes you can call, that they don't care if you get mad. But you, oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. got money too. Like, yeah. I be killing B. Like, I be, every time he wears some crazy stuff, I kill him, like, because that's what boys are for. Like, man, it's fresh. No, that ain't fresh. No, nah, that, that's garbage. <laughs> like, and that's the thing that the, the, when you really have real friends and real people you can talk to, that are going to give you the real. And that's the best part. And B, that's the funny thing, because... Now it's cooler, but when we first started, and I used to always give you hell, and I used to be like, man, what are you this? House of Athlete employees are around, and they'll, they'll tighten up because the boss man's there. Mm -hmm. You need to have people around you that's not the boss man. Facts. You got to have people around you that's going to check you, and that's what people, when all these dudes get in trouble, Isaiah Wilson, the dude, at, uh, the, the offensive lineman that just traded, the offense traded and went to and Tennessee, first round pick. Right, right. Played three games, came down, and Dolphin released him again. I always go to this dude cannot have real friends. Because a real dude that wasn't on the payroll, that wasn't partying off him, that wasn't enjoying life because of his money, he's going to sit back and be like, Isaiah, sit your ass down. A lot of guys don't know who Isaiah uh, Wilson. Wilson is. Isaiah Wilson, first rounder last year, rookie, came in from the jump before he even signed his contract. 
before he even signed his contract, was having issues. And the team, like, I don't know. And the, anyways, they end up putting him on, like, COVID-19, you know, protocol, like, I don't know, uh, exempt list. So he really didn't play last year. They trade him, was it the Tennessee Titans? Tennessee Titans. Tennessee trade Titans the trade him to the Miami Dolphins, part of this package. Soon as he get traded, literally like three days later, the Miami Dolphins cut him because the dude committed to come into workouts. He committed to come into different meetings. They knew there was something going on. They cut him, and that's it. So, so like, I just want to give the... Because this yeah, is a big conversation. Story. Yeah. Because I feel like the I feel like the NFL can we have done more? Could the to Miami Dolphins done more? Can the Tennessee to. Titans do more? The Dolphins try to. Coach Flores, from what I understand, they're from the same hometown or something. Yeah, they both from Brooklyn. So for that reason, he brought him in. Three days though, Fred? Look, you can't change a person. You you try your best to reach out and, and to say, look, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I believe in you. Right. I believe in you, I believe in you. Is it always goes back to the individual. And we talk about it all the time. We try to give game to the younger guys from our experience. This is what we've done. This is what we've seen. Avoid that. Right. For some reason, this kid, and we don't know what, what it is. It can be anything, right? That's why we're talking about mental checks. Let's tap in. Let's check on each other. Yeah. Whoever is close to him needs to tap in and say, hey, what the f*** is wrong with you? You need that tough love. Why are you acting up? Whether it's his mom, his dad, an uncle, a homeboy. Bruh, you finna, you were the 29th pick. Why you f***ing off? That's simple. But some guys never get it. And then they be back on, um, uh, uh, you're, you're, uh, block, you're a block All-American. Yeah, you're on a block. You wild and you, 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 you kept it real, real stupid. Right. Because them dudes that's on the block, you only have a couple of them that's gonna say, like I saw you took your photo with, with your guys, right? Chad, go do your thing. We got you, whatever you need when you're home, we gonna make sure you're good. When you're out there, we supporting you, we wanna see you do great. Yeah. Not, not everybody has that support. Yeah. Who's talking to him? But that's my point though, is like mental health, bro. Like it's, it's a bigger conversation. So I get all of that, but I, I, like how, what I hear from you guys right now is all that machismo talk, the locker room talk. Like, you know, what the hell you doing? What the hell you doing? You know, three Somebody days. Somebody kick you in the ass sometimes, bro. I, I do. I, sometimes. Yes, yes, bro. But, like, we need that. We need more information. And I don't have enough information to know what he's dealing with. But when I when I see a first round, a guy get drafted first round, don't play his rookie year, then get cut, then go get be a part of a trade. Goes for a seventh round pick, I believe it yep. was. And then cut in three days. To me, red flags go off. And now... What are the systems and procedures in place that we have as a league and, and as a team to help this person? So I want to gather more information. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get it. But at the end of the day, three days isn't enough. Sometimes you got to get in the trenches with people when they're dealing with, you know, psychosis, whether drug-induced or just psychosis. Or if you're dealing with other things that, you know, aren't addressed. Does everything have to be a mental problem? Maybe then just up. Maybe the people around him, he doesn't have the structure that we had back in our day. Right. I was running around with riffraffs that don't got no business doing what they do. If I want to go and do that, what the f*** you think they're telling me? Man, get your ass from around here, right. nigga. But there's some things that's it's just called, red it's flags, bro. It's called structure. There's some structure. things that's called red flags. You mean to tell me? Why? Just having the right there's people around you. I, I agree. That's, it's I, simple. That's why I said there needs to be more information. There needs to, we, you know, we, we need to figure out what else is going on. Because what you're saying is 100% right. Not everything, and that's part of the stigma around mental health, not everything is, is oh, mental health related. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is what this kid should be doing, he should be flying to the same hospital I went to, McLean Hospital, and doing a clinical evaluation. Or doing a neurological but, but evaluation, see on? what's going on in his brain. So let's do but that first. Have we done that? But B, who's that on? Is that on the NFL? Is that on the NFL PA? Because from Isaiah Wilson. But, uh, yes, okay, yes. Who, let me answer that. that let, me, let me tell you who it's on. It's on who, who the people y'all saying need to be in this circle saying, mother effort, get this right. It's a, but bunch, of, it's a bunch of we young kids. We don't have these conversations. Do, can we identify anxiety? What's the difference between anxiety, a panic attack, and a heart attack? We don't know those things. Yeah. So, like, that's, when I, that's why this conversation so is so important because we need to be able to sit back, have these conversations, and be able to identify. Sometimes it's not always tough love, locker room talk. Sometimes it's just like, bro, I think you need to talk to somebody. 
You know what I mean? Like, that's what happened for me. Listen, you're different. We're all different. Everybody going through different stuff. You got a kid coming out of college, right? What pick he got? What pick was he? 29. 29. What did he get the day he got after, after when he got drafted? That's a bunch of what? Six million. It's a lot of money, man, coming from nothing. Then you got your homeboys around you. Sometimes your train of thought and your mental process on how to do shit and how to move ain't really there. I agree. It, I it agree. ain't there yet. I agree. So what we can't do is every time somebody does some f***ed up shit is use mental health and anxiety and all these other terms as a crutch. I Sometimes motherfuckers f*** up because they got the wrong motherfuckers around them. I agree. I, I, and, and guess what? I th thank you for saying that because that is part of the stigma around mental health is like anytime something happened, we they go to that. All I'm saying is we need to be curious though. Are we curious enough to say, it, it, you know what I'm saying, do he need more? You know what I mean? Um, you, know what, and it, you know what it feel like almost? When somebody commits a crime and knows damn well, yeah, yeah. I'm premeditated. Yeah. You know what? I'm claiming insanity. Right. I was insane. That's why I did it. Yeah. We can't, we, I mean, that's what it's going to come to if we keep every time somebody up, oh, mental health. Mental health. It's, it's, it's it, something it, they can fall back on to use. Well, this is why it happened. Right. It's such when there are people that really have those motherfucking issues, right. you know what I mean? That's right. That's right. It's, it's, it's such a broad space, right? Mental health is. There's so many different um, uh, identifiers. You know, he has this issue or he has this issue or this issue. You know, and I think now in today's society, when you look at the level of people, the, the amount of people, the percentage of people that are claiming depression, you know, anxiety, this, that, the other, where, where, where does it stem from? Is it because we, we, because science has told us that this is the reason, or research has told us that this is the reason this person might be depressed? Why are you depressed? Are you weak-minded? You know, is it because Chad has something that you don't have, right? What makes you anxious? So it's so much in the in the, in the realm of mental That's mental right. health right. yep. that you have to just really sit down, have patience, and be able to have conversations and talk with each individual. It's not even, but but the, the, there's a bigger issue though. But there's bigger. What you just said, I love what you just said because there's bigger, and we're gonna bring Chef out here in a minute get her opinion on this. But it's important. It cost me $36,000 a month for three months. And then my, I can share this. My, I've told the story before. My mother, you know, she watched the show. She loves the show. She loves all you guys. My mom, so I spent three months there at McLean Hospital. My mom, um, you know, she's an alcoholic, but she's been clean. She's been sober for, I think, eight years now. Um, I sent her to Betty Ford. That cost me $36,000. My brother... Uh, he went to Yellow Brick in Chicago dealing with some things. That cost me over a hundred something thousand. Now he in prison and he don't get out until 2025 and he already did five years. I got other people really close to me that I invested in to, to go through the same you know, type of process to figure out what's going on with them. I say all of this to say this, I'm fortunate. I'm Brandon Marshall made a lot of money. What about the people who can't afford $36,000 a year to get treatment. There's not, we don't have access. And there's not enough hospitals. There's not enough. Why is the treatment and therapy $36,000 to fucking that's, begin with? That's right. That's to right. Begin? That's right. That's right. That's right. You sit there and talk that's to somebody for hours. So I'm passionate about for it. For me to be able to tell you, we can do the same thing right here. It ain't costing no mother $36,000. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need a mother that don't know you to tell you what's wrong with you when you get. Pick up the phone and okay, call somebody. Okay, okay here you go now, Ultra. Now you're talking about there's some things, some people need that. But maybe if, it, if for me, if I had this, and this was our culture. Back then. Back, back then, then, maybe I didn't need McLean Hospital because. You could have gave me that 36 longer, grand. Right. The longer, the longer certain things go undressed, mm -hmm. the worse it gets. And that's why conversation is so important. Yeah, you good. That, right, that's Chef, why, that's Chef, why you're the Z, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why you're the Z. <laughs> You okay, can't, you don't your hands, you bro. Playing with it. Hey, Chef, Hi. what we got here? We got some soul food, some comfort food for you. For Well, for you, I got shrimp, of course. Fred, back Mac and cheese, chicken? collard greens. I mean, I have moderation. Oh, I'm just, I, it's cool. I, I ain't going to judge we, we, you. I know. I, we just learned you. that lesson. I ain't going to judge you. All right, so, Chef, you got, what, what we got? She asked me Mac what the play cheese. was. Why does Chef text, Chef, why do you keep texting no, for real. Like this is getting this is getting serious now. Why do you keep texting? 
Fred Taylor and not us. You don't text me asking what I want. You don't. Do you text? She been cooking. She been cooking. She cooked. She's been cooking. Can I answer this? Can I? Can I? From McDonald's. Hey, you want to take it? Go ahead. I mean, I'm gonna let you. You take it. She been cooking for you for years. You hired her, and then this guy. So she know me is what you're saying. Who, who we got here, Chef? We have my oldest daughter, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Praise God. All right. <laughs> Your twin? Yes, my yeah. twin, Nancy 2.0. Can you cook? Can you cook too? I do. She I cooks do. very well. Okay. She's. All right, so, so that's a hobby, though. Uh, it's a hobby? Yes. I'm going to put you on the spot. You know, I got this seat, and, and everybody got a seat to occupy. And this is from traditional media. I was on show, I'm on Showtime, been doing that for eight years, now on Fox, right? So they always ask, like, what's your seat? Okay? My seat on this show is get messy. Okay. All right? Who's the better chef, you or Chef Nancy? <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> chef Nancy's definitely a better chef. I'm like her... Uh, like she said, I'm 2.0. I learned anything from her. But see, it's a hobby she, for me. Yeah, um, she's going to law school. Yeah. She's not. I'm a lawyer, but, you know. She, law yeah. school? Yeah, yeah she's a paralegal currently. But Let's she go. just, her Let's hobby, go. her hobby <laughs> is cooking. Why and not? she was in the kitchen So corporate law. With I me, like contracts, you know. and I've mm. worked in construction law, but I definitely like doing contracts. Mm. I think that's dope. You come from Jamaica, Queens. Mm -hmm. um, you got... You know, one daughter, I truly believe that in days, that's going to, you know, hint, 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 days about to drop a T line, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so she about to follow in your footsteps from the entrepreneur, um, from an entrepreneur standpoint, but she's also in school doing some big things. And you got Ashley. Um, and we're talking She's about corporate law. She's already a college grad. This is my, this is my, my baby, but I can't complain. I, they, they are. Amazing. I've never had any major problems out of either one of them. So are you having more kids? No, absolutely. <laughs> no. <laughs> absolutely not. You sure? I will be 52 in May. I mean, what does that mean? Holly Berry had one at 51. Well, it means that my eggs are rotten. Yes, she's an ultra versus science. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she wanna just you wanna be on the show all the time. That's really good. That's really good. You proud of your mom? I'm very proud of her. Yeah. Um, I smile every week when I see her. So it's like a, it's the most beautiful thing I've seen. And I'm so, I'm, you know, you always say like you, you're the parent should be proud of the child. I am so proud of her. It's just amazing to see her blossom, her coming out of her shell, even speaking and you pushing her. I love oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I, I got to get her to talk a lot. <laughs> I've always told her you can do anything you want. I, she's doing it. I reminded her the other day, um, going through something. She probably was about 17 in high school. She's 28 now. And I was like, do you remember I was crying over your bed, <laughs> over her bed? And she said, Ma, it's got to be something you can do. Mm. And um, the both, I told you, all well, they, they, I raised them and then they came back and was like, look, lift it, lift it. I was just about to say that because I feel like days and now, and, and Ashley, obviously, days and Ashley, I truly feel like, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like they're the wind behind your sails. Is that the right way? The Did wind I say that right? My wing. The wind beneath your wings. Yeah, you know, I've chopped something the up quick now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll remix it quick. No, but I truly believe that your daughters is pushing you to greatness. You is that? Absolutely. When she when I reminded her of that last week, she said, I said that. I said, yeah. She said, oh, I've been your therapist for a while, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. So where are you at, 1 to 10, mental fitness, personally, and business-wise? Oh, uh, I'm about a 9. Mm. I'm about a 9. I'm good. I'm in a good place. I can't complain. I like the 9. I knew it would get you to a 10 because you need balance. You have two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine having a boy. I never wanted a boy. I have five brothers, and I never wanted a but boy. She, but she got a boy, though. <laughs> Ashley's, you know, Ashley, she's been wifed up for a minute Oh, now. yeah. So she got her boy now. He, he's over there. He over there. <laughs> he right over there. He over there, look, look, look big brother. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he be there. <laughs> That's her boy. I'm going to say this, because I've been you know, talking to your mom. Please, with her Chef Nancy Spices, mm -hmm. just tighten that contract up. Oh, Keep it tight. Mm. That's it. it. Keep her tight. Always. Keep her tight. That's it. And that's another that's thing. It. Go to chefnancy.com. 
doing some phenomenal things. I made that know? chicken with the house taste. I was finna ask you. Yep, the rosy taste. Man, that chicken's so good. good. Oh, that's your seasoning on this? Um, yeah, rosemary roasted garlic. Rosy roasted garlic on that. Oh, that's what I taste. <laughs> what, you, what you put on the mac and cheese? Mac and cheese? I have a secret for the mac and cheese. Man, is, can I get it? Yeah, I'll you give it to good? you behind the scenes. All right. Well, thank behind you so much. Yeah, You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Enjoy. The wind beneath your wings. I got it right that time, Chan. Well, you got it. You yeah, got I got it right that good. time, boy. All right, so I'm, I'm going to end the show with this. Man, yeah, we, we in it? It might not. Yeah, because just keep talking. All right, so uh, one to 10, where, I'm, where, where am I? Um, from a business standpoint, I'm at a nine. Um, we're in a good position right now, I'm doing a lot, and it feels good to kind of run it up. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, bet on yourself, mm. believe, and to see the investment made um, turn into something massive is awesome. And so, business-wise, in a good place. Uh, mental fitness, I'm usually at a, uh, I'm no lower than a seven, so right now I'm probably at an eight, and the reason why, because I think about process. I think that, you know, there's always something in life. You always have something. And I give this analogy. Boundaries and walls. Boundaries protect and walls hurt. A lot of times we put walls around our family and walls around our life where it's like, I'm never going to have financial issues. I'm never going to have, my children are always going to be good. My health is always going to be good. My marriage is always going to be good. Good, 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 good. Like, it's never me. So we never, we, we never prepare or we're ne we don't build up those calluses to be able to deal with life. Mm. Right? But boundaries is like, yo, I'm going to do everything I can. You know, I'm not going to eat McDonald's because I don't want to deal with five, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I want to deal with. You feel me? Yeah. Deal with what? Diabetes, right. heart attack. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, preload. No, no, I, I was just, I was just listening. Right? So, so, so boundaries, boundaries protect, and, and, and so, like, I, from a mental fitness standpoint, you know, I feel even when, when, when things are hard, you know, um, I always feel like I'm out of eight because now I can tap into the, to the, to my, to my network, into my process, to mm -hmm. my systems. So right now. From a mental fitness standpoint, I'm at an eight. But personally, it's crazy right now. You know, a lot going on with business and trying to manage, you know, this whole thing of work-life balance. Um, it's real. So I'm probably at like a five. And I, I don't think I've been at a five for a minute. So I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. So you're at a five because you have so much going on, basically. You're trying yeah. to balance everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like personally, yeah. five. So personally. It's real. So, 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 so what I'm saying, I'm out of five. Yeah. Remember what you said, what you say when we first did this? You said, if I'm out of five, what you said? My deathbed. A three was a deathbed. Yeah, yeah, three was a deathbed. Five, I'm living. So can you check on me? I got you. You got me? I got you. You got me? I got you. Do you have to put some of the business to the side and different things to focus on the personal? Because you, you brought up the three, the three areas. Now you keep, right. we, we hitting on three right. areas. You said one area is struggling. Is there a way to put other things to the side to worry about that area? Could you? It's about balance. It is about balance, balance, but here's the thing. There's so much to it. I read this book called One Thing. And as a ball player, we had to schedule our entire life. This is why I believe in House of Athletes. Like, we're the healthiest people on the planet. People should adopt our lifestyle. And one of the reasons is because we have a routine, OK? But a routine was set for us. When we were six years old, people told us where to be, um, and, and how to show up. When you transition out of sport, you don't have a schedule. You don't have a schedule. So remember, it's only been two years for me. So I had to create that schedule. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about it, um, you know why we're so why we're so why we're so strong is because somebody told us where to be and, and how to show up. Okay. So now we don't have that. So how do I check emails? Like something as simple as that. Now I'm in business. I'm full-blown corporate America. That's probably my biggest challenge. I got a thousand emails in the inbox. How do I do this? When do I do this? Somebody told us when we supposed to wake up, you know, because we got an eight o'clock team meeting. Then after that eight o'clock team meeting, we got 
segment, not as even a segment, we got the offense, defense, break up, and then we got this, and then we go into, you know, you know, bang, 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 bang the whole day. Structure. Structure. Okay. So when you talk about the difference between, you know, work and also home, that's a transition. I read this book called One Thing, and the reason why I brought that up is because in this book, there's this one spot that jump out, and it talks about um, business being this rubber ball, and then your personal life being this glass ball. So business, if that's the rubber ball, you can drop that, and then it bounces, it's gonna come back up. You can drop business. You're always gonna get an, another opportunity. You can always go make some more money. Okay, personally, if you drop that, that's a glass ball. Shatter. So yeah, you drop it, get scratched. You drop it again, a bigger scratch, maybe even, you know what I mean? Crack. And then eventually, right? So, you know, I think this is part of the process. You know what I mean? So to answer your question, yeah, I do believe it. I think you posed to, it's supposed to be personally. It's supposed to be personal first and then business, but you got to create that shit. And to bring it up though, bro, divvying out responsibilities, trusting people, trusting people. Mm, like that's advice, a big conversation. Just advice from me, knowing you, bro, trusting people. Like you say, them thousand emails, you have employees. Could you check these emails and send me the 20 that are relevant for me to read? And the, there's 80 of them that spam or 800 that spam or something yeah. like that. Trusting people. And I know that per, me knowing you, you want to have your hands on everything. Sometimes things are too big. You got to trust people to, to, to help you out. Hey. Trust people to call, trust people to talk to. Hey, when you want shit done the right way, who you put it, put in the hands of? Yourself. <laughs> when you want shit done the right way. Women, who... he about to say women. <laughs> Can't never go wrong. It took your ass 50 years to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, figure Chad, it out. You, you ain't even married yet. What you talking about? You engaged. Who? You just engaged. What you talking about? We 10 years plus in and you engaged. You talking about the woman. Nah, I ain't, you 10 years with one. I got here's thousands. The deal, here's the deal. Let me say this to end the show. Here's no, the deal. let me say this to end the show. Go ahead. You in the show then. Understand the difference. Do your own research. Mm. I'm with you when you write. I'm with you when you write. I'm with you. I'm with you when you write. Give me a hug, boy. I'm with you when you write. Ah! We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah. Wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we write to get a deal. He on the team. He gotta eat. You know. Spike the skills. Fat. Keep it riding for the fam. You gotta light the wig and wheel straight up. But in the past, bad. Work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. Yeah. And my family needed bread. I had to come.